Virgo, somebody is in regret. Somebody is definitely upset with their self. They're disappointed in their self, okay? Um, they uh, are wondering why is it that they keep finding themselves in the same predicament um, over and over again. They have been praying. Um, there is religious factors um, involved here um, for a lot of you. Um, however, there is somebody who is very much so trying to work their life out, trying to get into a space of stability, um, wanting determination, wanting self-discipline, um, but for some reason, um, somebody here keeps on um, disappointing themselves, okay? Um, and, and this is causing um, self-blame. Uh, this is causing uh, depression to a certain degree, degree. And somebody is feeling like a failure for some of you guys, okay? Um, it, it Whatever this thing is, is going against what somebody believes, Um um, for themselves, okay? It goes against um, their value system, their religious factors. Um, it goes against um, their integrity. It goes against their characteristics, okay? Um, they're stepping outside of their character and they know that they're doing this. This is something that they're very aware of, okay? Um, and they're trying. Somebody is trying very, very hard to stop falling, you know, off the wagon here. This could be drug abuse this could be you know sexual addictions this can be um behavior toxic behavioral problems okay that somebody continues to indulge in and they really don't want to but it's almost like you know um there's there's a pool okay um there's a pool there's a void there's a frustration um there's a need a desperation a thirst okay for um, one word, all words, no words, okay? For someone here, okay? That is like, I constantly keep making these same ass mistakes, okay? Like, when am I ever gonna learn? And, and it's like, they indulge, okay? And then after they indulge and in they're by themselves, they are in deep regret. They are blaming themselves. They are um, upset with themselves, okay? There's a situation here to where somebody is definitely dealing with somebody um, that uh, is connected to somebody else. They possibly could be married to somebody else. They possibly could uh, have a baby mom, baby dad. Um, they um, they know about you know uh, this situation. This person um, may come across like they're a family man, but but they know that they're not. Um, whatever the case may be, this person or family woman or whatever, right? Um, this person is not any good for them, okay? They know this for a fact, all right? Um, what they do together is fun. What they do together satisfies that thirst. It satisfies that void, okay? Um, but like I said, temporary, okay? It's very temporary because somebody finds themselves in this energy of failure, finds herself in this energy of letting them own self down, um, settling for less, um, settling for what they know they deserve better. But because for whatever reason, um, and, and some of the reasons that I mentioned, you know, they keep falling off of this here wagon, okay? Um, this card here says you can't fuck your problems away, okay? So what it makes me feel like is a person continues to go back to an individual here who, you know, gets very much so instant gratification from. Love you, baby. Love you too, honey. Very much so um, satisfaction, okay? Um, and, you know, it's short-lived, okay? Um, this person is taboo. This person is off limits, okay? But for whatever reason, somebody continues to indulge with this person they go against their own religious beliefs they go against their own self beliefs they go against um everything you know that says you know i need to do better you see what i'm saying it's not that they don't know that they have a problem this is what somebody here looks like after they continue to fall off the wagon okay you get the picture yeah so they're in regret okay um, they don't, they don't, they don't know how to get themselves up out of this. All right. 
they know. The reason why I know they don't is because I got high priestess on my board. First card out, okay? Um, they know that something is unattainable, okay? This person, religious factors is here, okay? So with that being said, and high priestess here, I mean, it's a very, very good possibility that somebody has God-given gifts here, okay? Um, that somebody knows that something in someone is unattainable, okay? That a behavior, okay, is unacceptable. They got secret knowledge. They know that when they indulge in this, this whatever this is, and like I said, this is raw energy. We will get into it. But they know that this is going against the grain. This is not helping them, okay? Um, if they were to, like, be cool for a minute, Dealing with this situation makes them take like 10 steps back, okay? And it is riddled with um, disappointment, okay? This is a habit, all right? This is a habit. This, 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 is, whatever this is, okay, is a habit, all right? Um, and somebody doesn't know how to change this habit of being with somebody, of dealing with somebody, somebody who is at off limits, somebody who is taboo, somebody who belongs to somebody else, whatever the case may be. But nonetheless, there are boundaries here and there are boundaries that has been crossed. There are boundaries that should not be crossed. And somebody knows that. And somebody is like, why do I keep crossing these boundaries? Okay, right. It's like they're stepping over the line here. Okay, we got five pinnacles. Next energy out. Okay, um, listen. Somebody realizes this. Somebody knows about the misfortune, the loss. Somebody knows about the scandals and the disgrace. Somebody knows about somebody being left out in the cold. Somebody knows about struggle. Somebody knows about adversity, sickness, STDs, okay? Lack of resources. They know that this is the karma, okay? They know that this is what happens when they uh go against what they know on the inside and this is the reason why they're so upset with themselves okay they realize this they, they they understand this okay um but it's a feeling of like i said a habit and not only that for some of you it's a soul tie okay that will be true for some of you all right somebody always feels connected to this person that's taboo all right no damn good and well, you ain't got no business messing with this person. No damn good and well, this person ain't no good. No damn good and well that this person don't mean somebody what somebody needs for them to mean for them, okay? And no damn good and well they belong to somebody else, okay? It's a fact, okay? So, it, but at the end of the day, it's a soul tie here, okay? Um, I always feel connected to you. We know we got somebody here that's uh, that's spying, lack of conscious, manipulative, lying, strategic, risky behavior, enemies, scheming, theft, sneaky, trickery, cunning, deceitful. We know this about them, okay? But for whatever reason, we still inseparable. I, I Somebody can't get enough of them. Like I said, they thirsty for this person, okay? Somebody has an open heart. They're receptive to this energy. They're empathetic and vulnerable to this liar, stealer, killer, cheater, thief, fake, phony, taboo, off-limits individual, okay? There's a third-party situation. Many, many heartbreaks. Separation has happened before. Yes, somebody left. Somebody here left, okay? They keep coming back, but they, they leave, okay? So separation is here. Third-party situation. Grief. Heartbreak. Heartache. Betrayal. Disillusion, upheaval, sadness, trauma, sorrow, depression, all of that shit, okay? All of that energy. Somebody's absent. Reason why they're absent, because they don't belong to you, or vice versa. Reason why they're absent is because they ain't fuck you. Just that simple, okay? Somebody is having a breaking point, all right? Limit, final straw, becoming overwhelmed. Is that is that a self thing, though? Or is that the other person? Is it somebody becoming, having a breaking point with themselves and feeling like this? And is it a breaking point to the point to whereas it's going to change? Is it a limit here? Is it, this is the final straw? Because somebody is like, I don't want to be like this anymore. This is overwhelming somebody. So is this the breaking point? The third party situation? Or are you the third party situation? Which one? Because I don't know. 
I'm just reading cards, okay? Moving right along. Somebody got cloudy judgment. Somebody sees this person. Somebody's older than somebody's here. Somebody's younger than somebody's here. Somebody sees this person as an ideal individual, okay? This is the reason why they're in love with them, okay? They see this person as a father, mother figure. They see this person as a business person. The whole package, responsible. Even though they a liar, still a killer, cheater, thief. But that's how they feel about a person, okay? They see their authority. They see how wise they are. They got ambition, structure, dependable, stable, order, protective, mature. That's how somebody sees somebody. But let me tell you something. We're about to go back here again, okay? Manipulative, strategic, lies, risky behavior, enemy, sneaky, scheming, theft, trickery, deceit, cunning. So how in the hell do somebody see somebody as a father, mother figure, business person, responsible, authority, structure, wise, ambition, stable, order, dependable, protective, and mature? The only way that can happen is this car right here. Cloudy ass judgment. Okay? Cloudy ass judgment. Illusions, unbalanced, distorted, okay? Right. This is the reason why somebody in regret, okay? Because like I said before, for a lot of you, you have God-given gifts. We know this, all right? So it got to be the cloudy judgment. It got to be the distortment. It got to be the illusion. Somebody's giving this person. Somebody's just giving to you. You giving to them. Gratitude, generosity, gifts, love, attention, affection, nurturing, sex, intimacy, all that. Somebody wants to move on. Somebody's saying, I know you taboo, okay? Somebody's saying, I know you're not good for me, all right? Somebody's saying, you don't belong to me, okay? But you keep coming, okay? You keep coming with the gifts. You keep coming with the smiles, the I love yous, the... The I care about you. I want you. You see what I'm saying? And then I, somebody ends up by themselves. So somebody is trying to let go. Somebody's trying to move on. Somebody does want a new chapter. They know that's the best thing for them. They want to heal. They really just do. That's why I say they're fighting themselves. They want to release. They want to purify. They want a cleansing. And damn sure need one too for whoever this read is for. Somebody don't want somebody here. Okay? It really is just that simple. Somebody is bored. Okay? Somebody is unhappy. Somebody is pessimistic. Stagnant in this. Apathy. Regret. Indifferent and reluctant. Okay? Somebody is not showing up the way they need to show up. For somebody here that keeps falling off. Do you know why? The reason why is because they're either having a third party situation or you the third party situation. Okay? So the reason why they're not showing up is because they're showing up for someone else. That's why. Okay? But regardless, there's still chemistry. Okay? Very much so. Very A lot of chemistry. Sparks fly, y'all. Somebody here feels... Like, I have never felt a passion like this, this intense before. Okay? That's a real ass energy. But what do we do with that shit, though? You know what I'm saying? When it go against what we believe. When we turn in our back on, on, on our religious factors, our integrity, our characteristics. What do we do? You know what I'm saying? Somebody exhausted. Depleted. Drained. Overwhelmed. This has been a long journey, y'all. Okay? A long journey of falling off the wagon for somebody who don't belong to somebody. For somebody who's showing up for somebody else. For somebody that has somebody in third party situation. Okay? It's all good as long as y'all having sex. Because this card does say you can't fuck your problems away. It really is just that simple. Okay? It don't say shit else but that. Okay? You can't fuck your problems away. But it feels so good being with them when you're intimate. Y'all souls connect because the chemistry, you got a soul tie. 
regret is here again, y'all. I don't know if the regret is because of the person or because somebody keep falling off. But they're saying, I wish this never happened. What? What do they wish never happened? That they never met the person? That they keep falling off from the person? You know what I'm saying? They keep going to the person? They keep giving in to the person? Well, what, what, what do they wish that never happened? You see what I'm saying? Because the reason why I'm asking that question as I'm meditating over this energy is because I got somebody spontaneous as hell. I got somebody that's full of originality, that takes risks and jumps out here, okay, without thinking, independent, not really asking questions, nor advice, nor seeking any type of assistance, okay? Blind faith, thinking that it's going to maybe this time work, okay? Yeah, well, you know what? I got silence next to that. Somebody ain't saying something. Somebody keeping something to themselves. Frozen. No words. Stonewalled. I don't know. I don't know who that is, y'all. I know there's a lot of distractions. I know there's a lot of dishonesty. I can tell you that. And I can tell you that this Ace of Cups is upside down. I can tell you that. Okay? So, if we had Ace of Cups upright, this would be relationship. Conception, gifts, love, joy, new romance or romance, happiness, blessings, pure intentions. But it's opposite, okay? This is not a new relationship. This is not a relationship. This is not your love. It may feel like love, but it's lust, okay? And if somebody is saying they love somebody, well, you know what? It's not about what you say. It's about what you do, okay? And if somebody loves somebody, then why in the hell is somebody always looking like this? Because that don't look like love to me. I'm just saying, okay? That's just my personal opinion. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Some people may feel that look like love, okay? But, uh, yeah, that don't look like happiness either, Okay? So, yeah, it's a distraction that's going on here. A lot of dishonesty here, okay? Somebody is lying. Somebody is lying about this, you know, wanting to be together, okay? Ace of Cups is I want you, okay? I want you. I want to start over. Uh, I met somebody who is, you know, the overflowing love. I have a serious attraction. I want to lock this person down, okay? That's what that means, all right? And uh, it is in reverse, okay? So with that being said, somebody is distracting themselves, okay? I don't know if they're distracting themselves because of the fact that they got God given gifts. They know that something is unattainable. And, uh, you know, Ace of Cups is upside down, you know? And maybe, like I said, cloudy judgment, illusions, unbalanced, and distorted thinking is here. I, it, I don't know, okay? All is I know is somebody's distracted, okay? Maybe, you know, when they're in this energy of having to have this person. Okay, they're sidetracked. Everything that they told themselves about this person being off limits, everything that they told themselves about this person don't belong to me, everything that they told themselves about how this is taboo, and this goes against what I believe in. Okay, and I'm coming out of my character, even dealing with this individual. All that shit changes up real quick. Okay, soon as they step on the scene, all right, soon as they ring the phone, okay. This causes delays. Delays in what? Delays in being able to keep it freaking moving. Keeping it pushing. To whereas there is somebody that is for you. Okay? That does want you. That cares about you. Okay? The person that God has for you. That is not taboo. That doesn't belong to somebody else, okay? And it's not about fucking problems away, okay? It's about intimacy, friendship, okay? And yes, fucking too, but at the same time, you know, it all comes together and it's wonderful and beautiful, okay? And that is what, you know, somebody knows here with this high priestess that they can have, all right? But they keep settling, all right? They keep settling for less, this is what we got, y'all, okay? It is what it is, all right? And I'm fixed. We, we, we about to deal with this shit, okay? It really is just that simple. Virgo, 
Much love. Much respect, you guys. Thank you so much for still being here with me. Thank you so much for riding with me, my day ones. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for, um, you know, the text, the email, you guys. I see you. I hear you. And uh, you guys are showing up. You guys are going to be getting another video tonight, too, by the way. I appreciate the views you guys gave me um, yesterday. Um, for my uh, VIPs, my Train to Go members, you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for your support. You guys mean the world to me. Um, I love you guys dearly, and um, I appreciate you, okay? For my new and recent subscribers, you guys, you guys, uh, I really appreciate that you accepted my invitation to subscribe to the channel. You guys, I am very happy that you are here. If you have not let me know that you're new to the channel, please go in the comment section below. Let me, let me know so that um, I can give you a warm welcome that you deserve, okay? Um, for the ones that have not subscribed, please accept my invitation to subscribe, you guys. There are a lot of things that are going on on this channel. For every 100 new subscribers, somebody will definitely get a free read. Um, my mystery grabs are very fun and very random. And as a matter of fact, for you guys that are waiting, um, I am going to the post office. My postal run is going to be on the 22nd. I will be send, sending out the packages then, okay? Um, for my monthly winners, you guys, tarot cards, oracle cards, or free reads, all right? There's a lot of ways to get free reads on this channel. We are headed to 20K, um, and every 10K, um, this channel is new, you guys. I mean, which is what, a little over a year? Ding, almost, yeah, a little bit over a year. Um, but anyway, a year and a half, I think. But anyway, um, yeah, so your first 10K, you guys, it was a Louis Vuitton, um, purse uh, charm okay in which one of my uh subscribers my regulars um that i hear from often uh received and this one is for the 20k i'm announcing it i've been announcing it you guys it is a wonderful um beautiful little item i'm talking about it, it is lit y'all okay i will be revealing this to train to go first my uh, community members but this is uh um what do you call it um Sales associate, okay? Sales associate from Chanel. Compliments, okay? There's a lot of people that want to see this channel grow, you guys, okay? Thank you, baby. You're welcome, honey. Um, so, you guys, my uh, goal is to put one piece together for you, all right? I'm going to do my damn just try to do that. Uh, Virgo, this is a self thing, okay? It really just is that simple, okay? I mean, you know, I don't know what's going to come out in these cards. I'm sure there's been promises made. I'm sure there's a lot of love here. I'm sure there's been a lot of things that's been said, um, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you know, y'all know me, okay? It's, it's always going to be 100, all right? So, you know, telling the truth ain't the easiest thing to do, but God dang it, somebody got to do it, okay? And I am that one, so we about to get into this, okay? Puzzle pieces, you guys, always remember that, all right? Um, anytime you get a general read from me, it is always puzzle pieces, Okay. Um, listen, uh, if you guys are interested in a personal read, if you guys are interested in my VIP plans, please go on my description box, you guys. You guys will see my prices. You see the details of my plans. You will see my email. Please do not hesitate to contact me. I love hearing from you guys, okay? So with that being said, we're about to get glory to who glory belongs to, you guys. I've already prayed over these clarifiers in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you guys. I've asked for truth. I've asked for revelation, confirmation, guidance, consolation, peace, and protection. As I give Jesus Christ all the praise and honor in the glory okay so there is somebody here that has a habit okay um that they keep on falling off the wagon with okay i'm not just saying it's a you know a person habit it could be a drug habit it could be an alcohol habit it could be a behavioral habit whatever the case may be somebody knows that uh something is unattainable and they don't have any business um dealing with this here but they're saying i don't know if i will ever be able to change okay and there's boundaries here, okay? We got somebody who is very, very possessive. They're very, very hard-headed. Um, they do not want to let go, okay? They're holding something or someone very tightly to their chest, okay? There's secrets involved in this. Somebody possibly is having some money issues, okay? With the five pinnacles, you guys, this right here feels like karma to me, all right? Um, because I've done a lot of Virgo reads. And let me tell you something. If I got any sign that's prosperous, damn it, it's a Virgo, okay? Um, let me tell you something. This right here is scandals and disgrace, okay? It's misfortune and loss. It's STDs, okay? It's poverty. It's left out in the cold, okay? It's lack. It's a very low vibrational energy. And it is because that we have somebody here that is giving love, affection, attention, gifts, 
sex, whatever the case may be. And they're also wishy-washy, mixed messages, juggling, flexibility, profit and loss, back and forth energy. Somebody knows this. They realize this. This is not completing someone. But there's love. Somebody loves somebody here. Cancer Pisces Scorpio just pulled up. <laughs> we got Gemini here. We got Taurus. We got Aries here. So far. Pisces. It's love, y'all. But it's a taboo love. And it has a whole lot of intimidations, conflict, fighting, arguments, not being on the same page, unhappiness, cowardness, hostility, pride here. A lot of words have been said. A lot of hurtful words. Hold on one second. Seven, twelve, three, right. And with that, with this seven to this five. There you go with your three of swords, okay? But like I said, it's a third party situation. Are you a third party? Or are they a third party? I don't know. I feel like a self thing, though. No. Yeah, somebody has given and given and given and invested and invested and invested in, into this person who is a liar, killer, stealer, killer, liar, stealer, killer, cheater, thief. Fake phony. They've invested in them. They got an open heart to them. Receptive, empathetic, and vulnerable. Inseparable from a liar, stealer, killer, cheater, thief. Okay? And somebody is in regret. Somebody like, I know better. So why am I not doing better? There you go, Virgo. You're the Empress. You got the power. Rather you a dude or a female. Somebody could be a baby mama, baby daddy here. Possibly. Pregnancy. person makes somebody extremely happy that's why because somebody is extremely happy being with this person even though there's disagreements there's love beyond love here somebody is head over heels for somebody to the point to whereas they're settling to the point as whereas they're literally laying down their own beliefs they own belief system and taking what they can get, whatever small that may be, okay? They're going to have to make a decision about this, about this third party situation. Somebody definitely is at two paths. Somebody is definitely going to have to think which way they're going to go. And they're going to have to get off the fence because somebody has been on the fence Somebody's going to have to say right or somebody's going to have to say left. Either this is going to be an energy that somebody is going to continue to be in and accept it. Don't complain about it. Or this is an energy where somebody is going to have to sit here and wait. And they're going to have to think of what direction they want to go in. What progress they want to make. They got to be willing to leave comfort zone. But a breaking point has to happen first. Okay. Somebody has to reach somebody's limit. The final straw has to happen. This pain here, it got to become overwhelming. It shouldn't be that way, y'all. Y'all know that. There's been betrayal. Backstabbing. Painful endings. Leaving somebody for dead. Promising things that never come through. Unreliable. Okay? Thirteen, four. Somebody is going to fall back. Somebody has tried to fall back. But the sex though. Okay, I told you. Just say you can't put the promise away. Sex is good here, okay? And that's when they feel the closest to this person. 
not dinner, not spending Netflix and chilling, you know what I'm saying? Not spending the time and not the romantic walks in the park and, you know, um, the I want to be with you for the rest of my life, not the, you know, I want to lock you down. You know, it, it the closeness comes with sex, okay? It's just that simple. Somebody knows this shit. Saying that's something that somebody don't know, okay? It, it really just is that simple. Somebody's going to have to make a decision. They already got mental clarity, okay? It's either going to be a new beginning or it's not. It's either going to be overcoming these limitations or it's not. You know, we got free will. Somebody here know that. Somebody got religious factors. Somebody got a God-given gift. So if somebody got God-given gifts, then they know we got free will. And they also know that you can do anything through Christ who strengthens, who strengthens them as well. And maybe that's the reason why they in regret. But the third-party situation... The fun, the socializing, something about this person that somebody loves. I told you, they look at this person as somebody who they want to be with. This person is a snake, okay? They're off limits and taboo. But because somebody has cloudy judgment, you know, hey, they don't see that. This is the reason why it's stagnation here, you guys. This is the reason why it's going to be stagnation here, all right? It's just that simple, okay? Something is going to have to be sacrificed. Something is going to have to, you know, be surrendered before something can shake. What got to be sacrificed is if this person is married to somebody else, they got to lead a per day person. If this person is with somebody else, they got to lead a person. If this person, you know, is not willing to do and be who somebody needs for them to do and be, then that's going to have to be sacrificed. Until that day comes, you can't fuck your problems away. But you damn sure need to understand that it's going to be stagnation. Limbo, okay? Left on red, not called back, and all that, okay? I feel like it's karma, all right? I really just do. And the reason why is because justice here. Libra just pulled up, okay? So, with that being said, if it's not karma, okay, then there could be a court problem. Maybe somebody is trying with their cloudy judgment, uh, having an illusion, uh, unbalanced, distorted way of thinking of balancing the situation out, okay? There ain't no balancing the situation out. You know that, whoever this reading is for. Plus pieces, y'all. Virgo towards Capricorn is just pulled up. Somebody knows somebody married. You married. They married. Somebody off limits here. Baby mama, baby daddy, higher connection. Taurus just pulled up. Here you go, Virgo. Hermit. Somebody been analyzing this. Somebody been soul searching. Somebody been trying to ascend. That's the reason why they look like that. Because they're trying to ascend, but they keep falling off. Okay? Consistency, Virgo. Consistency. Okay. Cross watcher. Cross watcher energy can and will get involved in this. Okay. Cross watcher. If this is the Virgo that's done this to you or this is your energy, please go in the comment section and let me know. I'm very interested to know how energy interchanges between my signs and you guys will be helping me out an awful lot. I love you guys. And um, like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Somebody definitely does want a new chapter. Somebody says I'm trying to move on. Okay. Problem is, motherfucker, don't go nowhere. Problem is, they keep giving gifts. They keep calling. They keep showing up, okay? That's what the problem is. They're not giving me a chance to heal. That's what they're saying, okay? That's the excuse. They say they love me. Cancer Pisces Scorpio just pulled up. They say they love me. Is it just you they love? I don't know. See a Leo Sagittarius Aries here. I see toxicity. Capricorn just pulled up. Bondage, manipulation, materialism, addictions of all kinds of sort. Even obsession for some of you. Something's going to change, y'all. There is a cycle that is going to end and one that is going to begin. Freedom possibly here. Somebody might be graduating. 
But it doesn't really feel that way. And the reason why is because we got three of swords right back on the board. Okay? So this is what they do. All right? Or this is what you do. Okay? Third party situations, heartbreak, heartache, knowing better than this shit, but still going along with it. Okay? Falling off of the wagon. Three to the three is the six. Somebody needs to travel. Somebody needs to relocate. Somebody needs to leave the past alone. Somebody knows that. Well, high priestess. Somebody may be moving. Relief. Calm. Peace. There we go. Third party situation with the same individual who's showing up as somebody's dream person. Okay? Want commitment, collaboration. Networking, perhaps. Oh, you want them to be your wife. You want them to be your husband. Or vice versa. Somebody don't want somebody here. Somebody said it's dead. That's what they say. They in apathy. Told you they was pessimistic, stagnant, unhappy, indifferent, reluctant for something. And they're saying this shit is dead. But what's not dead is the fact that y'all can have sex because, you know, it says you can't fuck your problems away. So apparently somebody feels that they can. Somebody's tired. Somebody's exhausted. Okay. Their brain. It's been a long journey. All right. This moon. This secret squirrel shit. This me falling off the wagon. No one, nobody to know. This disillusions, this hidden information. There's no peace that's going to come with this. If that's what you're looking for, it ain't going to be that way. Right. Not with the one with the liar, the stealer, the killer, the cheater, the thief, the fake, the phony. No, it's not. Okay? It ain't going to come that way. I see where somebody see where they think that's a bright idea. They think that that's a bright opportunity, a prospect, a solid prospect. Somebody's younger than somebody here. Keep jumping off the ledge to this person. Blind faith. Risk taking. <clears throat> Hurting yourself. Opposition. Competition. Ego clashing. That's what somebody's jumping off the ledge to. And somebody regrets this. And they ain't got shit to say. They're silent. They're frozen. They have no words. They're stonewalled. Because they thought that this person, or they think that this person is their dreams come true. They think. How they feel. It's what they want. But somebody's ass is fixing to get cut off here in a very roguishly way. Might have already got cut off several times before. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is here. Leo Sagittarius Aries is here. Somebody loves somebody. I don't know. Is it Leo Sagittarius Aries that loves somebody else? Or is it the um, Libra Gemini Aquarius? Is it the Virgo towards Capricorn? Does it love for someone? I don't know. Y'all, I don't know. Take what resonates. Puzzle pieces. I know it's love here, though. I know it's that tab taboo. You know, somebody knows this. They're finding out more information. And they're crying all the time. They're having an emotional funeral. This is a haunting loss. Because they can't have the person that they know they ain't got no damn business being with. That's why. I know it love. That's not, I know it hurt. But stuff in your toe hurt, too. Shit. Somebody want to recklessly, roguishly go out here and do something. Knowing damn good and well Ace of Cups is in reverse. Somebody knows. High Priestess is here, y'all. Somebody knows that something is unattainable. It's just that simple. So what? We going to stay in cloudy judgment, La La Land? That's, what, that's what's going to happen? Y'all going to be there, whoever this is for. But I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to bring you the reality of the facts, okay? And the reality of the facts is this person comes back and they romances and they give romantic proposals, okay? But they don't mean that shit, okay? Because if they did, then guess what? They wouldn't be off limits and they would be yours. And it wouldn't be all this regret. It wouldn't be all this, you know what I'm saying, disappointment. 
breaking point. Absence. Because when something belongs to you, it's there with you, okay? There we go, okay? Somebody done got into it. Somebody done, you know, somebody's tired. Somebody's distracted. Somebody needs relief. Travel relocation is here. Leave and pass alone. That's what somebody wants to do. Somebody's been dishonest. Somebody knows that somebody's been dishonest. Somebody knows that somebody, <coughs> even though, excuse me, you guys, even though they're bringing a romantic proposal, they know this, this shit is bull bullshit. They know this. But they still quick. They driven to succeed. Okay? Because they really still feel like there's a bright opportunity. I told you. Cloudy ass judgment. Okay? Illusions. Unbalanced thinking. Distorted sight. Okay? All because of somebody's heart. Yeah. Open heart. Vulnerable. Okay? Tower. Didn't I tell you it went down? It went down, you guys. Love has blown up in somebody's face several times. Not just once. Some of you are going to be several times. Upheaval, chaos, negativity, okay? Letdowns, disappointments. Somebody's spying on somebody. Somebody manipulative. And here we go again, you guys, with the misfortune, the loss, the uh, poverty, hardship, adversity. Scandals, disgrace, lack of resources, left out in the cold, STD, illness of some type of sort, and a struggle. That's the karma. I don't know. Is that you, Virgo? Or is that somebody else? I don't know. Okay? So, let me go ahead and give you um, these letters. My phone is about to die, and I still got five, four more videos to do. You guys, these are new cards that I just made up, so, you know, I'm going to pull a few of them, okay? For my um, uh, uh, subscribers, you that's okay, because I'm going to take a break anyway, because I've been reading and stuff. But um, for my um, verified subscribers, you guys, this right here, um, you know, if you catch a message from this, put your situation down there. I'll randomly pull cards for you, okay? Um, if this is... Um, uh, one of my community members trained to go, then this is automatic for you. If you guys do not want to put it publicly, go ahead and contact me on my text message and I will definitely, um, you know, pull for you from there, okay? Um, you guys join trying to go, you guys. This is a new, um, it's a new, it's my new community membership. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to get that, uh, you know, this is a soul family on this new regular channel, okay? But I'm trying to get that even more close-knit, okay? More personal. When people going through things, you know, they got somebody to lean on, support system there. There's going to be videos there, how to watch tarot correctly. Um, you know, just <clears throat> a lot of perks. Right now, half off of my VIP plans, half off of my, um, my uh, personal plans. And a free question a week, okay? And plus these, okay? In case you guys get a message, you guys can, you know, get a free pool. So, it's definitely worth it, okay? See if I can get some of these, at least one. All right, there we go. All right, so I got the month of June, January, okay? Something happened in January, okay? So that may be relevant for some of you. I got July. That may be relevant for some of you, okay? I got the number 57, the number 19, the number 70, the number 17. Somebody has been seeing 111 as confirmation. Somebody, um, 65, 20 may resonate. 74, 18 may resonate. So I'm going to say these again and I'm going to reverse them, okay? So the number 74 or 47, the number 18 or 81, okay? 65 or 56, the number 20. Like I said, 111, somebody has seen that. 7, 70, the number 17 or 71. 57, 75, the number 19 or 91. Okay, that may be relevant, all right? The letters are M, Q, K, C, G, B, 
N X. Okay, letter X. N. Excuse me, U. Sorry about that. X U B G C K Q M R. Okay. That is uh, put them down there in the comments, you guys. Okay. Um, if you don't want to put them down there in the comments, then let that just be your personal confirmation, okay? Um, let me tell y'all who's on the board. Damn near everybody's here, okay? If I mention it twice, that just means that it's heavy. Uh, Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, don't want my phone to die. A lot of betrayal, a lot of third party situations, a lot of regret. Sagittarius, a lot of lying, stealing, killing, cheating, thieving, faking, phoniness, okay? Uh, Sagittarius, Pisces, and we got Scorpio. We got Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Sagittarius, okay? Pisces. Taurus, Aries, Gemini. That's who I have for you. So if I was able to put one piece together for you guys, I would appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe. You guys remember, join uh, Train to Go, you guys. Half off my VIPs, half off my personal reads, and also one free uh, one um, one one uh, question, okay, a week, okay? So I will see you guys soon. I love you guys very much. Virgo Crosswatcher.